Pace and Caden Petzold. Yep. Background. The Galactic City Urban Model was developed by Chauncey Harris in 1960. An urban area consists of an inner city surrounded by large suburban residential or service nodes or nuclei tied together by a beltway or ring road. Central City is very decentralized and somewhat empty due to move from urban to suburban areas. There was a need for housing outside the core urban areas due to growing population demand which resulted in the suburban residential area. The malls are built in the middle of the residential zones because that is where the majority of people have moved to. Manufacturing has not disappeared, it has just decreased significantly and has become more specialized. Office parks are located on the Beltway because it is easier to get there by car and is closer to the suburbs and not many people drive into the CBD to work. Service Center. Types of service organizations are found in the suburban CBDs. A few examples include transportation, biotech, and medical centers. Airport complex. They are usually located on the outside of the belt. Residents are still easily able to access the complex because of the traveling options. The combined employment and shopping center is where both offices and shopping malls are located. The strength of the galactic urban city urban model is gives you accurate representation of dispersed functional places and services, shopping centers, and stuff. The limitation is the galactic city does not apply to junior ruler arrows, which still forms a large part of the fabric of the U.S. Sources.